Testing one, two, testing one, two, three. Is this thing going on? Oh my god, it's been so long! Oh, hey fam, what's up, what's up, what's up? This is Robert Anton here, robertanton.com, coming to you. It is summertime, and y'all know how I am in the summer. I have been hitting the beach, hanging out, having a good time, enjoying the sun, getting a little tan, you know? Somebody called me sun kissed the other day. I was like, yes, yes, yes! <laughs> so I'm gonna to come to you guys really quickly and not talk too long. Okay, it's 221 right now. PM. Um, so I just wanted to talk a few minutes about something that me and someone talked about and then I just saw a Facebook post and I was like it really ties in and relates and I want to say free your mind, free your mind people. Okay, so yesterday I went out with some people that I know from out of town and we t I took them to dinner in Koreatown. We had a really good time, you know, tasted some great food and we were talk I was talking to one of them and they were saying, you know, they met someone who fell in, they fell in love with someone who kind of opened their mind to the possibilities that they could do something, be somebody, go places. He felt like he would never get out of this little town and told me that basically he was brought up to be just like a womanizing drunkard, you know, and I don't want to go too much into, you know, all of the details, but, and we, as we were talking, I was saying, you know, I never had that problem. I was always taught, even from a young age, that you could do, you could see, you could be what you want it to be and you're only limited by your imagination okay so today I was reading on Facebook and I'm gonna get back to that but today I was reading on Facebook and a friend was saying um, how you know he wanted to become a refined gentleman but he always feels like the hood is gonna hold him back you know and people are gonna look at him differently and feel like he's trying to be something that he's not and I had said to him the same thing. You're only limited by your imagination. One reason why I always had such an active imagination, a want to travel and to experience things, is because I was a reader. I read a lot of books when I was young. So many books, so many styles, so many things that kids just really don't read because I would just get my hands on something and devour it because it took me to places that I'd never been, places that I never imagined that I would be able to go and it just opened up all kinds of worlds of possibilities and in having that imagination I started even at a young age starting to want to travel you know starting to want to pursue my dreams starting to want to sing on big stages all over the world starting to want to meet people and learn languages and you know so all these things were only things that started happening in my imagination but because they were happening in my imagination they started to unveil themselves opportunities started to come along to allow me to be able to experience these things that I was calling into my existence and it's all mystical and all this good stuff spiritual and and universal law kind of thing but when you think about it your imagination is the thing that is taking you into so many different places and sometimes your lack of imagination has held you back from doing the things that you really want to do imagine dream and then follow your dreams um yeah i just want to give that little piece of inspirational information uh let's chat down in the comments i haven't seen you guys in so long i've been hitting reese beach in new york city i've been to coney island um and i'm going to columbia for my birthday oh my god south america again right <laughs> to a different place in South America. So good to see you guys. Hopefully I will talk to you down in the comments. This is Robert Anton, robertanton.com. I am out. Peace.